we are not in Toronto for this week. In fact, we are actually in Vancouver, which is where I am from. And I thought I'd take you guys along for a little bit of a journey and also show Lisa a little bit about three things and three places that really reminds me of Vancouver. This place is actually a park that's super close to the first place I've ever lived in Canada and it's called Deer Lake. Okay, what makes this really cool is that um, my family and I, we were like, we would usually walk down these steps. You'll suddenly see this like amazing lake and it's this like, a, I don't know, really like to me it's very iconic because I, I used to come here probably way too much. Like it really reminds me of my childhood because this is what I used to do with my parents when I was in like elementary school. So is Deer Lake like a uh, immigrant community? Is there you know Chinese people? All of Canada, all of Canada is an immigrant community. Thank you. We're a very multicultural nation, Lisa. I know you're just integrating into it. <laughs> is there any like water activities that you did in the no. lake? Is there no. like a beach? It's just it's just like look coming from China. We're like I'm from Beijing. It's a big city, um, and you have this big city vibe. Right, you come in here, it's like totally different. And then with your backyard, you have this like amazing lake. It's such a change of scenery for me. Uh, and that really was something I think is really memorable. These are stealing public food. You can just have some free berries. Look, so fresh, could not be more fresh. Mm. Oh, yes. oh my god, look at this. Holy And guys, this is why this is such a good stroll. Honestly, like, after dinner, we just come out. Lisa, Deer Lake. Nice. It's actually really nice. You'll see the fields in a bit. We're here, we can walk a little bit. It's real quick, and then we'll get right there. Okay, I didn't even I, didn't, I thought we were just going like down the stairs and then the lake's gonna be right there. Like this is like a real park. In Canada, we have real parks, unlike Russia. What, what, what the, we have more parks than anybody in the world because we're the largest country in the world. This is the oh, money like shot. Really nice. All right, you guys, just as we are approaching. And if I lift you guys above. See Deer Lake back there? So yeah, we've at, we, we usually never actually walk all the way. I don't know what it, why it is, probably just lazy. But uh, we usually just walk down the stairs, chill here, take a look at the lake, and uh, call it a day. Nice. I really, I like this. It's like a huge park downtown. Yeah. You didn't cooler. see, you didn't think of it, right? No, it's I didn't, like, but it's like so peaceful. I really enjoyed it. It's one of the things. It's one of the things that really reminds me of Vancouver. So we are walking on actually my school's track and field. Got a good friend over here, Edwin. Hi guys. Classmate from uh, Point Grey Secondary. If you look behind me, our school actually doesn't look like a normal school. The the story is that um, what is it? There's actually a women women's prison, yeah, right? So hundred years ago. Hundred years ago. I don't think that's actually. The, the real truth, but uh, it is designed for it. <laughs> Let's call it the seven wonders of Vancouver. <laughs> if our school looks familiar to you, um, that's actually on purpose because a lot of movies were made from here. If, uh, if you guys have watched To All the Boys I've Loved Before, it's actually filmed here as well. Lots of lots and lots of movie um, were actually made here and it's a very popular spot because of the architecture that we have over here. Yeah, also, don't forget about the alumni. You know, a lot of movie uh, actors that actually graduated. Yes, Seth Rogen actually, well, never graduated to be fair. He kind of flunked out, but 
he's doing pretty well for himself. So um, really, really neat place. And um, let's walk around our school's field and uh, yeah, reminisce a little bit. Yeah, so this is actually our school's tennis court. If you remember, we had these like runs. So we would run outside the perimeter and that's where our Terry Fox run would start and all the way and then, anyway, at one point I ran into the tennis uh, net. Yeah, that was not fun. This is actually a really special place for myself and for Edwin as well. It does not look anything special, honestly, to you guys, but Edwin was just reminding me a little bit about the special place. Where are we over here? Here, right here. Oh man, this place is special. This is, you know what it is? Our photography classroom. Yeah, this is it's pretty um, awesome. This is actually where a lot of my like artistic and even what I do now with YouTube, I mean, where it started, quite frankly. Um, we had like a dark room. We oh had, yeah. Yeah, we had like so many different things. Um, it was all traditional photography, right? So old school cameras, nothing, no, no, nothing digital. All the effects that we did do in the dark room was hands on. Oh yeah. Uh, nothing like how you just edit with a click. Yeah, no mouse. Photoshop guys. <laughs> Our teacher actually even organized a trip for us. Um, and we went, we ended up going together to New York, honestly, just to take photos. It was like one of the best field trips that I've ever done. Pretty large field trip at that. So really, really awesome and good memories. Alrighty guys, we're gonna leave you here. It's not necessarily a school tour, but it's one of those things, like I mentioned, what makes me think of Vancouver. This is definitely one of them. You know, the school, as odd of a structure it is it as it is, it's it's one of those spots that it's always gonna be Vancouver for me. And for our last stop in Vancouver, I'll say nothing reminds me more of Vancouver certainly than Chinese food. Of course, my own parents cooking, but also just the variety of Asian cuisine that is available in Vancouver. And because Lisa loves Asian cuisine so much, we are at a Chinese, um, it's like sauerkraut fish place. Um, I guess I show you guys up there and uh, get some uh, proper Chinese uh, cuisine. It's cold outside and... It's typical Vancouver weather. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's pouring rain, it's foggy, it's dark. It looks like we're on set of Twilight or something. Very moody, um, but I'm super excited to try this new thing but also like just in general I'm a huge fan of Chinese food I'm gonna I'm down to try anything her favorite dish is tomato no, and it's not, it's not. It's not. I feel like Chinese food is so different like there there's it's impossible to choose like one favorite one like I, I do really like dim sum but then I also like the Taking Szechuan back. like numbingly spicy stuff and obviously yeah, I love talking back that's amazing and then, I don't know, lately I have been getting like quite into Shanghai food, like, I don't know, like the eel, the little eel dish. Guys, it is here and it is a sauerkraut fish from Guangzhou. Okay, are you excited to eat it? I, yeah, I am really excited right, to eat it. Time, to, for, time for you to try it out. I'm so confused. It's the fish is really tender. It's sour. It's not like sauerkraut, like the one like that you get with your schnitzel or anything like that. So it's a little bit different. It almost reminds me of like some Filipino sour dishes that has that quality to it compared to a Eastern sour quality. Yeah, it's delicious. Um, I, I like that it's spicy, but it's not like overly numbing and it looks like there's some mushroom in there as well and some spam yeah so it's a full it's a full dish it's delicious and yeah i'm excited to have the rest of it same here and you know what we're gonna actually go eat honestly you can't go wrong with so many of these different restaurants in vancouver but it, that's why it really reminds me you know going to vancouver for like chinese food it's probably one of the best ones best places in North America to have your Chinese food. As you can see, 
food, my school, and nature really reminds me of Vancouver. And that's really why, I mean, I keep coming back, certainly for my family, but also, it just, these are what makes Vancouver, Vancouver for me.